Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's more bang for your buck video. We're still working our way through some circle die ideas and today I'm going to use this little plain circle die to create some balloons that can be added to any kind of celebration or invitation card. So I've cut a stack of circles using this die from smooth white cardstock and we're going to colour these but before we do that I want to cut them down slightly. So I've got my circle on there and I've got the same circle die and I'm going to cut a chunk out of it. So there we have the bit of the circle that I want. It's got a crescent cut out of it. You can change the size of the crescent just by moving the circle across like that. I'm not going to use this bit today but I could use it for something I could turn it into a leaf I think. So these are the circles that I want to work with today or part circles. I've got some large ones here, I've got four of those, medium size there, three of those and three of the smaller size. So to colour my circles I'm going to use salt water taffy for my big ones, scattered straw for my medium ones and salvage patina for my small ones. I think this is a really nice colour combination because you've got two warm colours and a pop of cool colour. So that's the base colour down on each of my circles or my balloons. I'm going to zhuzh each one up though. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to leave the yellow one as it is. So I'm going to have one without any embellishment. But I'm going to use this dot marker. It is salmon coloured. So it's similar to the saltwater taffy that I used. But it's darker or more saturated so it will stand out nicely. And I'm going to add different size dots to my little balloons, my crescents. You get different sizes with these dot markers by pressing with different amounts of pressure. So if you press hard, you get a big dot. If you press lightly, you get a small dot. I'm going to set those aside to dry and I'm going to move the yellow ones as well. To decorate my salvage patina balloons, I want to heat emboss a pattern onto them. So I've treated them with corn flour just to dry off the ink and to remove any static or grease. And now I'm going to use this stamp. It's a very delicate, thready stamp. I think it's an old stamping up stamp, actually. I need to move these out of the way so I accidentally stamp where I don't want to. And I think silver will go really nicely with the salvage patina and bring in a bit of sparkling shine. Now I'm going to take all of my balloon shapes and add some foam tape to the back of them. Now all of these have foam tape on the back and I'm going to start to assemble my card. I've got a piece of smooth white cardstock here that is four inches wide by eight and a quarter so it's just chopped off a bit of A4 paper. It's not going to stay this size, I will chop it down but I want to get everything laid out first. So I'm going to create a row of balloons sort of cascading as if they were in a line behind each other and I've put the big one down first the pink one and then I'm going to add in the yellow and angle it so that the circle is kind of pointing in a different direction if you see what I mean and then I will add the blue like that again so that it's pointing like that bring in the red again or the pink rather and angle it in this direction so we're going to end up with this kind of bouncy no that's not the color that one 
bouncy bubbly wiggly line of balloons working their way across here And now I'm going to chop it down, so I think I'm going to make it three and three quarters across. And I'm going to chop off a bit there, and chop off a bit there. Let's see how big this is. This is seven inches at the moment, so if I chop off roughly a quarter of an inch. Yep, I like that. So that can sit on this five by seven card blank, which I will cut down again. To make these look a bit more balloon-like and shiny, I'm going to add some highlights. So I've got some bleed-proof ink here, which shouldn't absorb the colour from the ink on the balloons. And I'm drawing a line and a dot as if the light was shining in from this direction. And I'm going to set that aside to dry and work on my sentiment. For my sentiment, I'm going to cut the word celebrate out of some black card. But I'm going to add a bit of packing tape first so that it comes out glossy. I've cut the celebrate shadow out of smooth white cardstock. And I shall stick that on with a bit of high tack glue. I'm going to put my sentiment about here because I think it will snuggle nicely into this dip. So I want to add foam tape to this part here, but this part I'll just add glue to. And I think that will do. I'm kind of tempted to add some kind of Nuvo drops or maybe some silver circles on it somewhere, but I don't think it needs it. I think with the pattern on these balloons, I think it needs uh, to be kept unfussy elsewhere. So I think that will do for now. So I hope you like this way of creating the balloons. You don't have to use white cardstock and then colour it with inks, etc. You could use pattern paper for this. You could use backgrounds that you've already made or bits of backgrounds you've got left over. You could use plain coloured cardstock and then stamp or draw or heat emboss on it. I was trying to think of other ways of adding the highlights to the balloons if you didn't fancy painting it on or you didn't have bleed proof ink. You could use white acrylic to paint on. You could draw it on with an acrylic paint pen or a white gel pen. I did think possibly you could create a highlight with Nouveau drops and then it would have a bit of dimension. White Nouveau drops do tend to absorb the colour of the ink beneath them. But you could do that if you don't mind them tinting. You could create something that looks like a highlight with a, maybe a line and a dot like I did here. Or you could just go for something a bit more abstract and do maybe three dots or five dots or whatever you fancied in Nouveau Drops to give it a, a bit of difference. If you want the dimension that you get with Nouveau Drops, but either you don't feel confident doing uh, the drops yourself or you don't want to absorb the ink, then you could find some uh, enamel dots. These are little pearls. They would be quite good highlights. You could put three in a row like that. I've got these tiny enamel dots. I haven't got any in white, but they would work. So there are some options for creating the highlights. Right, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you back here very soon. Bye for now.